Let's go, let's go, college basketball fans. Are you ready for Arkansas versus Purdue coming up this Saturday in the exhibition game? It's going to be very hype. Arkansas hosting Purdue in Fayetteville, Arkansas against the Boilermakers, who, number one, got bounced out of the NCAA tournament last year by a 16th seed. You know, they got this big guy. They got this big guy who was a preseason All-American. Was it Zach Eddy? Preseason All-American. This guy's seven foot four. Looks like Yao Ming. But this guy's softer than Charmin. Which is good because the Hogs aren't very great in the paint. But Zach Eddy, 300 pounds, seven foot four. This dude just got destroyed by a 16th seed last year in the NCAA tournament. It, uh, it's going to be good. The Hogs have great guards. And Purdue has some height, has a height advantage. I don't think that's going to stop the Razorbacks, though. Our guard play is too good. Purdue's taller, but they're slow. They're a lot slower than the Hogs. And it is an exhibition game, so do they go at full speed? You know, how do the coaches want to play this game? Because it's not, technically it doesn't count, right? Arkansas Razorbacks are 14th in the country. Purdue's number three. With Kansas leading the way. Arkansas has Trayvon Brazil. He'll most likely be matching up with Eddie. 6'10", 220 pounds. Eddie's 7'4", 300 pounds. But the guy most likely who will probably be guarding Eddie will be Makai Mitchell. They have him listed here as 6'10", 240 pounds, senior out of Washington, D.C. He'll most likely be guarding Eddie primarily Because I don't think that Trayvon Brazil could handle Eddie in the paint of his size. In the last exhibition game, Brazil played around the perimeter, terrorizing UT Tyler's guards. And if Coach Musselman has Trayvon at the top of the key, it's going to... Purdue's guards will have never seen anything like that before. It's like Kevin Garnett at the top of the three-point line. And he's fast. And he can play defense. I think Arkansas is going to shock Purdue just like the 16th seed shocked Purdue last year. What was that team's name? Just destroyed Purdue. Everybody was happy. Except Purdue fans. Fairlay, number 16 seed, Fairlay Dickinson pulled off the shocker 63-58, making only the second time in NCAA tournament history that a number one seed lost to a 16 seed. It was arguably the worst among multiple memorable upset exits in the NCAA tournament history in recent years for Purdue. So you know they've been having, Purdue's been having nightmares about that game. The Boilermakers have been having nightmares. And Arkansas's better than uh, Fairleigh Dickinson. I can tell you that much.
I just don't want to see any injuries from either team. You know, I hope it's competitive and it's going to be fun. It's going to be an electric atmosphere at Bud Walton Arena. But we can't have any injuries before the season technically begins, even though this is an I, – I wish this was the regular season. But it's not, and we can't have any injuries. Purdue's going to get whooped, man. So when I went to the UT Tyler game, L. Ellis, senior out of Durham, North Carolina, 6'3 guard, 180 pounds. He had the most incredible dunk I've ever seen in my life. He did a 360 in between the legs windmill in the layup line. He's like a combination between Ricky Council and Kareem Reed. You know, Trayvon Brazil made his return for the Hogs, scaring UT Tyler on defense at the top of the key. The guy's 6'10", and he's almost as fast as a guard. And he's got the wingspan. Jeez, I mean, he looks like Kevin Garnett or Anthony Davis at the top of the key. Going to have Makai Mitchell most likely in the paint. 6'10", 240-pound senior out of Washington, D.C., Devontae Davis, 6'4", senior guard out of Jacksonville, Arkansas. And also look out for Layden Blocker, 6'2", guard, freshman out of Little Rock, Arkansas. I just don't see this game being very close for the Boilermakers. They're going to get ran out of the gym. The Boilermakers, though, have two seven-footers. One, as I said earlier, Zach Eddy, 7'4", center, 300 pounds, senior out of Toronto, Canada. They also have a freshman named Will Berg, who's 7'2", 255 pounds, out of Stockholm, Sweden. Purdue definitely has the size advantage against Arkansas. But they don't have our speed. And I think that's going to make all the difference. This is probably the most exciting exhibition game in all of college basketball coming up this Saturday. It's going to be a charity game for tornado victims in Little Rock that happened last year, which is a good thing that Coach Musselman and the Razorbacks are doing for the state of Arkansas. And man, I wish this was a regular season game and that this really counted. Because then Arkansas would probably be in the top 10 and Purdue wouldn't be. going to be fun, Hog fans. But it doesn't really matter until March time. And we can't have any injuries, especially in an exhibition game. So do the coaches prepare for that? Do they bench players? You know, is the game, does the game look closer than it really is for the Hogs after we go up 20 points and we dominate them? Does he put in, does Musselman put in our bench players just to give them some crucial minutes against a good team like Purdue? Because at the end of the at the end of the day, this exhibition game doesn't matter. At the same time, it does. You 
believe tickets are $30 for the charity event. And let's go Hogs. I'm so thankful and grateful that basketball season has returned. It's my favorite time of the year. And I look forward to watch this team develop and grow and start to play as a team and everyone develop their niches and And let's start it off by dominating Purdue at home. That's going to be fun. Please like this video. Please subscribe. Share this video. Help this channel get on the algorithm. Get it churning in there on YouTube. I sure would appreciate it. Let's go hogs. Peace.